Hi there, my name is Rox Berkey. I'm co-author of the Enigma series. Charles and I wanted to share the first chapter in our upcoming release of The Enigma Threat. It's scheduled to release on January the 8th, 2021, and is on pre-order now. So here's a sample. Chapter one, I hear you knocking. Ichabod quickly stated, Dr. Quip, our data center is under direct assault. All our data circuits in the World Wide Web are saturated with data bombardment from unknown sources. I am unable to hunt on the internet for our adversaries, thus I am unable to identify them or halt their onslaught. Our defenses will hold, but there will be no outbound reconnaissance to determine our defensive posture or potential alternatives. Quip, dressed in his standard jeans and his It Works for My Machine t-shirt, with his long grain hair tied back in a ponytail, was only half listening as he watched the building's exterior video feed streaming the physical onslaught of armored troops approaching the R Group's Zurich Operations Center. His chiseled features showed increased concern in his furrowed brow. Setting his jaw in decision mode, Quip hollered, Incoming! We have an all-out data center attack. Class, you are instructed to use the Alpha Exit Plan. A for a safe retreat. Get to the tunnel and type in the security code SOB. Follow the instructions as we have rehearsed. Don't look back. Looking quite alarmed, Granger, a replica of his father at 15, tall and lanky with thick blonde hair, protested, Dad, aren't you coming too? I'm not leaving without you. I don't care if the escape tunnel will save our bacon. It won't matter if you stay to fall on your sword, damn it. Quip gave his best paternal smile to his son. You're just like your mother. Remind me to discipline you for swearing in front of your father. You and JW get the other children together and go. Go now. There must be someone here for them to blame and take into custody so they won't look for you kids. Move along smartly and stick with our game plan. That's an order, soldier. Granger ground his teeth as he motioned JW, Satya, and Ari to follow him to the hidden escape hatch leading into the tunnel. The disciplined youngsters, children of the R group leadership, were not happy, but they did know how to follow orders of their parents and trusted advisors. Quip returned his gaze to the monitors, knowing he would be alerted when they were outside of the facility. Ichabod asked, shall I open the main doors for the troops, Dr. Quip? Quip reached over for his morning cookie to augment his fresh cup of coffee and calmly stated, no, I want to see how the magnetically insulated blast doors hold up against their two-man battering ram performance. Besides, we need more time for the extraction. Quip methodically munched down several cookies while he watched as not one, but three battering ram teams hammered the magnetically sealed doors to exhaustion. Having finished his coffee and one final cookie, he stated, That was as good as I expected. However, they are really pissed and should be rolling up. Uh, there it is. Yeah, a 20 millimeter field gun for stubborn defenses. It's times like these I wish the team had let me have my own wheeled armor. We're going to we're going to go with what we got. Okay, Ichabod, let me fill up my coffee cup and go see what they want. Quip made his way to the door as he pressed the comm button for the speaker linked to the outside and asked, I'm not shipping anything out today, nor am I expecting any package deliveries, so is this our catered lunch service? Sorry to make you wait so long, but I didn't hear you knocking. The leader, Tracy Montbatten, was 1.8 meters tall with close cropped hair, a commanding presence with menace in her eyes, and looked more like a man than most men who reported to her. Nothing fazed the starch fatigues and shining boots she always wore. Still, Stomp and furious that the doors had, had not worn down three assault teams trying to get in, she barked, I am 
commander of the Special Artificial Intelligence Task Force hunting team. Based on our warrant, you are directed to open up your facilities for search and inspection. I am authorized to use all means of force to gain entrance if you resist. Quip, unable to resist his namesake, retorted, You mean you've been banging on my door trying to break in, but you have legitimate business to conduct based on the authority of a warrant? Sounds to me like you have got it bass backwards, Commander, Madam. First, you present me with the warrant. Then you lose your temper when I tell you to go pound sound. Without my lawyers, I don't open my doors to just anyone that shows up. With that, the commander motioned to her men to withdraw. Quip smirked. He closed the audio circuit to the outside and made his way from the door back to the command center. As he sat down in his custom computer chair, he smiled wistfully as his gaze rested on one toggle switch in particular located on his desktop console. He winked at Ichabod's monitor camera, then calmly reached over and flipped it. Outside, the commander had her people pull back as she leaned her head toward the comm device on her shoulder and barked, FIRE! Thank you. I look forward to your reading and reviewing. Have a great day.